Hi everyone. Society tends to believe a magnificent wedding, Prince Charming and a snow white dress is something every girl dreams of. This of course is not entirely true. Not everyone wants a traditional wedding, and some prefer ripped jeans to a white dress with a long train. Although the classic bride's image is very persistent in popular culture, there will always be people who have a different idea of a wedding. Today, we will tell you about several bold wedding dresses, which not everyone would appreciate. Let's get it on. Naked Dress this girl is a very famous British model, DJ and musician. She's also a proud bearer of a noble title. Yes, Mary Charteris was fortunate enough to be born into the family of aristocratic parents. In 2012, she married a famous rock musician, Robbie Furs, and it would be strange to expect that their wedding ceremony would be at all normal. Looking at the original wedding dress, one would think that it was designed by Lady Gaga, the singer known for her tendency to wear shocking outfits. And it's not that far from the truth, because because the outfit was made by one of the designers of the popular pop artist. Her name is Pam Hogg, and when Mary asked her to create her wedding dress, Hogg's response was a firm no. After several days of thinking, though, Hogg gave up and decided to give it a try. The result was a very unusual outfit, where a veil and white color are all that reminds of the classical wedding dress. Instead of a boring floor-length dress, Charteris opted for a naked dress. It seems to cover her entire body, but at the same time, is quite revealing. Other guests at the ceremony also wore unusual clothes, and the designer with bright hair helped the bride to carry the hem of the dress to the altar. Killer Dress you might think that the next outfit was chosen for All Hallows Day, but this is not entirely true. A young couple from Scotland, Jack and Becca, decided to have a horror-themed wedding. They had a grim reaper with a scythe acting as a waiter, and the decorations looked as if they came straight from a real horror movie set. To be completely honest, Jack was the one who came up with this bold idea. While the unsuspecting bride dreamed of a traditional Scottish wedding with kilts and bagpipes, the groom finished all the preparations and picked up an unusual dress for her. Oh, what? Oh, my God. And although in general the outfit looks quite classic, there is a small detail that stands out, namely the bloody prints of Kit's hands. When Becca first saw her dress, she simply couldn't hold back her tears, not of happiness, but disappointment. After all, the image of a perfect wedding which she had in her mind looked nothing like this. This could have been the end of the wedding. After all, many couples break up before they get married because they disagree on how the wedding should go. But Jack and Becca aren't like that. As soon as the bride entered the room, Jack had been arranging for weeks, all of her doubts were gone. And it doesn't matter that not everyone appreciated the bold idea of the newlyweds. This will be some story to tell the grandkids. Disney Dress by the time the British singer and model Katie Price turned 42, she'd already had three marriages. All the wedding dresses of the girl were very luxurious, but one of them was special indeed. In 2005, when Katie married a singer, Peter Andre, she wore a magnificent pink cake dress. She completed her image with the impressive crown and veil the color of marshmallow. In short, the dress looked like it came straight from the Walt Disney universe. In 2017, Katie revealed that their wedding cost about a million dollars. But the most interesting thing is that the newlyweds didn't pay a penny for it. The cost was all covered by an exclusive photo shoot in one of the magazines. As a result, the bride had a marriage of her dream. With a scattering of Swarovski crystals, a pink carpet, perfect lighting, and sophisticated decorations from a fairy tale, Katie admits that she still keeps all three dresses for her children. Pearls and Crystals the star of some American reality shows, Kim Zolciak Beerman, decided that it's silly to have only one dress during her wedding. Her marriage with the football player Croy Beerman was as posh as it gets. To begin with, the girl scheduled the wedding for the lucky date, November the 11th, 2011. The whole ceremony cost a million dollars, while the highlight of the event, a magnificent dress made of silver satin with a huge hem, cost the bride almost $60,000. This unusual outfit weighed about 14 kilograms with lace, pearls, and crystals scattered all along the dress. It's funny that the outfit was actually not new at all. Kim bought it in a store of used wedding dresses because she just loved the design. At first, she wanted to make a new dress in the same style, but there was simply not enough time between the engagement and the marriage. But all this does not matter, because soon after the exchange of rings, Kim put on her next outfit, yet another luxurious dress worth $18,000 with pearls and Swarovski crystals. The 
third outfit cost a little less, $16,000, but it had a similar style. Other extravagant items included a $14,000 11-layer cake. Flower Dress Many girls dream of having a wedding dressed like a fairy or a princess from their favorite fairy tales. Most change their mind, though, when they grow up, but there are exceptions. 18-year-old Courtney from Plymouth, North Carolina, decided not to give up her dreams and go down the aisle in a very original acid green outfit. The dress required about 270 meters of tulle, a light translucent fabric often used for skirts. In addition, the designer also handcrafted the upper corset using about 14,000 colored stones. Courtney also had a large tiara on her head and sparkling LEDs in the bracelet. When you realize how much effort is behind this outfit, it no longer seems ridiculous. Colorful Dress Dita Fontes wouldn't be the queen of burlesque and gothic beauty if she didn't come to her wedding in an original outfit, especially since Marilyn Manson, a world-famous fan of shock value, was the one that she was marrying in 2005. Here you can see exclusive photos for Vogue magazine taken right before the wedding. Dita's dress was designed by Vivian Westwood, a world-famous British fashion designer who is called the creator of the punk style in fashion. The most important thing about the outfit was that it was made of luxurious taffeta of a hypnotic purple hue. The icing on the cake was the cheeky hat and a tight corset, which perfectly emphasized the wasp waist of the artist. The groom looked no less gothic too. He was wearing a black tuxedo with a velvet trim and a vintage shirt with a big collar. And of course, the singer's signature dark makeup. The ceremony was also stylized. All the guests were dressed in 19th century outfits. It took place, of course, in a gloomy Irish castle. By the way, you might be surprised to hear that the tradition of brides dressing in snow white white dresses was not always around. Until 1840, when the British Queen Victoria married Prince Albert in a white dress, girls preferred to marry in bright dresses of different shades. They also often decorated them with flowers. Barbie Dress in the modern world of fashion, an abundance of pink or leopard print in clothing is considered a bad taste, even though 20 years ago it was the height of fashion. However, some people do not let the fashion industry trends dictate their choices and simply follow the call of their hearts. And perhaps they are doing the right thing. Millie from the United States has a wedding dress that combines all the nightmares of a modern stylist. A scattering of crystals, feathers, bright fuchsia, and patches with leopard print. On top of everything else, a huge puffy skirt that makes one wonder how many people did it take to accompany the bride to the altar. Dress from a movie a former member of the Spice Girls pop group Victoria Beckham and her famous husband have always been one of the most discussed couples in the world of show business. Congratulations. At the time of the wedding, the newlyweds already had considerable fortunes, and today their combined assets reach about $900 million. And by the way, if you didn't know, that's upwards of $300 million more than the queen herself. Of course, on the eve of the wedding, everyone expected strict clothes following the latest fashion trends from such a sophisticated couple, but the stars decided not to go along with the public expectations and opted for more extravagant looks. The wedding began very traditionally. During the ceremony, Victoria and David were dressed in snow-white outfits. The Spice Girls' satin dress was designed by the legendary Vera Wang, and the corset was made by Mark Erskine Pullen, the most famous corset maker on the planet. Victoria wanted her waist to be as thin as Scarlett O'Hara's in Gone with the Wind. A six-meter-long train and a fabulous tiara worth about $30,000 were the final touches to the look. The dress, by the way, cost about $100,000, but Victoria is saving it for her daughter, Harper. After all of the formal parts of the ceremony, the newlyweds changed into much bolder outfits, a suit and a dress in bright purple from the British fashion designer Antonio Barardi. Not everyone appreciated them back then, but in contrast to the snow white dresses, the outfits look quite interesting. Snow Queen's Dress in Hans Christian Andersen's books, Snow Queen's character represents heartlessness, indifference, and even cruelty. But Annie was not afraid of looking like her. She decided to try on an outfit of the cold sorceress for her wedding. The dress was made according to all of the canons of children's fairy tales. Furs, a luminous tiara shaped like a snowflake, and an incrustation of 80,000 stones along the entire length of the corset and train. For some, it may look like the worst nightmare of any fashion magazine. But for Annie, the outfit was the embodiment of her most daring dreams. And this is the most important thing. Green Dress 
Since her marriage to music producer Erwin Bach was not the first for Tina Turner, the iconic soul singer decided not to dress in white. The newlyweds had been dating each other for 27 years before the wedding, so for them, the ceremony was more of a pleasant formality than something else. However, not everyone appreciated the artist's unusual choice. She decided to ignore the usual rules and put on a black and green outfit with a skirt of an unusual shape. The transparent nylon leggings with a scattering of sequins were the pinnacle of the original look. The reason for choosing the outfit was actually quite simple. One day, Tina saw a dress at one of the designer Giorgio Armani's fashion shows in Beijing. At that moment, there was not a shadow of a doubt in the singer's mind. She just had to buy a dress, even if she would never wear it. But soon, she came up with a better idea, to ignore social stereotypes and show up in the extravagant dress at her own wedding. You've got to admit, when you're 73 years old, you simply don't care what other people think a royal gown. There are probably a lot of brides who would love to try on a black dress, but they could be misunderstood, because dark shades are usually associated with funerals, not weddings. Apparently, Alyssa was also torn between the two yin and yang colors, but eventually reached a compromise. Aside from the many brilliant crystals, we can see a large black lace on the unusual wedding dress, which adds a certain gothic flair to the looks. But perhaps the most surprising element was not even this, but a huge tiara, which was much higher than the bride's face. Mass Market Dress we always expect mind-blowing outfits worth thousands of dollars from world-famous stars like the American top model Emily Ratajkowski, especially when it comes to weddings. But sometimes, stars don't meet our expectations and go against the stereotypes associated with their social status. Emily got engaged to her boyfriend Sebastian Bear McLeod in secret from the public without any pomp or luxury. <laughs> Many stars do this in order to avoid gossip and too much talk. But the model went one step further. She even refused to wear a wedding dress. Instead, Ratajkowski appeared at the ceremony in a mustard-colored pantsuit from one of the well-known mass-market brands. It cost about $250. Talking about accessories, the girl limited herself to an elegant black hat with a veil and simple heeled shoes. Many people will probably find it completely inappropriate for a wedding outfit, but you've got to admit that a stylish suit sometimes Sometimes looks even better than some expensive dresses. Hey, stop being lazy, it's time to use that brain of yours. Welcome to Brain Time. Incredible facts from the past, the present, and even the future. The power of nature and wild animals. Amazing facts and unsolved mysteries. You'll find all this and much more here. Subscribe now, you won't regret it.